Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over default Minecraft commands. We'll first go over vanilla Minecraft commands, then we'll go over bucket commands, then spigot and paper, and then finally sponge forge. Before we get started, you do have to have OP permissions in order to do any of these commands on a server. To do so, you can go to the console on your server and you can type in OP space and then the player name. Once you hit enter, you will then have OP permissions on the server and you can now use these commands. For this video, we will only be going over some of the most popular and used commands, but I will have a link in the description to an article going over all of the commands so you can see every command that you can use in game or in the console. For this tutorial, we're going to show you how to do this in the console, but you can also do this anytime in game as long as you are OP'd on the server. When typing commands in the console, you do not need to have the slash prior to the command. If you are typing commands in game, you do have to have the slash before the command. In vanilla Minecraft, you might have problems with the player and you might want to ban them or ban multiple players if you're having problems with a group of players. To ban somebody from the console, type ban, space, and then their player name. If you would like to unban that person, you type pardon, space, and then their player name. If you would like to see a list of players that you've banned, you can type in ban list and click enter, and you'll be given a list of players that have banned on the server. If you want to just kick a player momentarily, you can type kick space and then their player name. This will kick them. This is helpful if they are AFK or if you want to even just play around with a player. Finally, for bans, you can also ban them by their IP address. If you feel that someone is making multiple accounts on the same IP address and you want to not deal with them at all, you can type in ban dash IP space, then the player name. This will ban their IP, which means that anyone trying to join from that internet connection will no longer be allowed to. If you would like to pardon that IP, you can type in pardon dash IP space, and then their player name. When you first create a server, you might want to work on the server with a few group of people and you want no one else to join, and you can do so by creating a whitelist. This makes it to where only people on this list can join the server and no one else can. In order to turn on this whitelist, you can type in the console whitelist space on, and if you'd like to turn it off, you can just type in whitelist space off. To add players to this whitelist, you just type in whitelist space, add, space, and then their player name. You can do this as many times as you would like, and if you'd like to know who's on this whitelist, you can type in whitelist, space, list, and it'll give you the list of players that are on the whitelist. Lastly, for the whitelist, if you would like to remove a player, you can type in whitelist, space, remove, space, and then their player name. When creating a server as well, you might want to set the world spawn so you know exactly where players are going to spawn and they spawn exactly where you would like them to. In order to set this, you can stand exactly where you want to be in the world or you can have a specific coordinate through the console. We're going to show you how to do this command in game since it's the easiest to do and most people like to do it this way. First, we're going to stand where we would like to have the world set spawn and we're going to type slash set world spawn and press enter. This will now set the world spawn to exactly where you're standing. You can also from here set a world border that'll go out the certain amount of blocks you choose from that spawn point. We will also do this command in game and you can type slash world border space and then the amount of blocks that you would like from this space. So we're just gonna type 200. This will now create a world border 200 blocks from that space all the way around in a square. In order to do these commands in game, easily OP somebody in the console by typing OP space their player name, like we talked about earlier. In order to stop the server at any time, you can just type stop in the console and this will stop the server. And you can also start the server by doing the same, just typing start and hitting enter and it will then start the server for you. To change the difficulty of the server, we're gonna type difficulty space and then either the word peaceful, easy, normal, or hard. To change the game mode of a player, you can type game mode, space, and then the game mode type, which is either creative, survival, or spectator, space, and the player name. If you would like to give a player something, you can type give, space, the player name, space, and then the item you would like to give them. 
If you would like to kill an in-game mob, entity, or player, you can type in kill, space, and then the entity name or the player name. If you are wondering any commands, you can type slash help and it'll give you a list of commands to use. If you would like to message another player, you can either type message, space, player name, and then the message you would like to send, or you can type tell or W at the beginning of this. So you could type W space, the player name, space, and then the stuff that you would like to send them. If you would like to change the time on the server, you can type time, space, and then the time that you would like to set it to. And if you'd like to change the weather, you can type in weather, space, and then the weather you would like to change it to. We will now go over default bucket commands. From the console, you can type in plugins, and this will give you a list of the plugins that you have downloaded on your bucket server. You can type reload, which will stop all plugins and restart them on the server. We will now go over the default spigot and paper commands. You can start by typing restart, which will restart the server. If you're having lag on your server and you wanna know what's going on, the easiest way to know is with TPS, which stands for ticks per second. And this will give you an idea of how well your server is performing. In order to see this, you can just type in TPS in the console, and this will then output your TPS from zero to 20. 20 being the best, zero being the worst. To get a better idea of why that's happening, you can use the timings report. In order to do so, you can type in timings space on and hit enter, which will then turn on the timings. You usually want this to run for at least five minutes to get an idea of how the server is performing. You can then type timings off to then stop this timings. You can then see this timings by typing in timings space paste, and you will be given a link to your timings report. You can then send this to our support staff and they will be able to help you read this timings report and try to figure out what's going on with your server. Lastly, we will go over SpongeFords commands. First, if we would like to see how our server is running, we can type in sponge space TPS, which will give us the TPS for all of our worlds. We can type sponge space save to save the world, sponge space reload to reload all the plugins, and finally sponge space mods to see a list of mods that are installed on the server. These are just a few of the default commands you can use on your Minecraft servers. Again, if you would like a list of all of these commands, I will have a link in the description to a knowledge base article that has all of these commands listed with an explanation for what each one does. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.